How do all and welcome back to Immersion Gaming. Right, so here we go. Without further ado, let's crack on with The Walking Dead Season 2 Episode 5. And let's conclude this mofo once and for all. Here we go. Got my marshmallows. Previously, Previously on The Walking Dead. Dead. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. I only need a minute. Should have put you out of your misery right then. I look at Kenny now. He just... he seems broken. Broken people get reckless. And if I find out that it's been blocked from anybody's yeah. veins as well, I will think up about that as well. Thanks. Things start heading south, don't let them drive mess about with me. No chance. Drop it! I'll do it! Drop it! Drop it! Don't move! Don't move! Don't move! Everybody be cool! Imagine if that comes out, that that's what they're doing. They're pissing about with people's lives, lives like that, and people's uh, streaming and stuff like that. Just so they can pick and choose who gets to do it, and the people that are paying, basically. It's fucking disgusting. It's way too much power in one per own company's hands, that. Uh, pushing people's posts out their pay, and then everyone else that just posts normally like they always have, they're going to get pushed out because they're not paying. And then the things that nobody wants to know, uh, Nobody wants to know them anymore because they're not getting no reactions to the post anymore. But in fact, it's Facebook that's calling it. It'd be a fucking uproar if that came out. This is it! This is the Where? 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 I was committing commit suicide because they thought that people didn't want to know them anymore. But it was Facebook. Fucking not showing their posts. Fuck me. I don't think they fucking realise what they're doing. Hey! What are you doing? Does it look like I'm doing Luke? I'm getting the baby. I'm not gonna leave it, am I? Idiot. Now. 
I'm not going to shout at this time. Stop squirming, damn it! Uh, oh, yeah, I am. No! No! Shut up, Harbo. Shut up, Harbo. Knife in the neck. Oh, sorry. Come on, Russ, scary up and die. We've got things to be doing. Well, hello there, sweet lips. It's safe to come out. Here, I got him. Thanks, Bonnie. It's not the same playing it when I've not long since played it like Jesus last night. Christ. That was uh that was intense. I thought I don't have to play him play it again. Yeah, it was for these assholes. Uh thanks hey, for coming back. For coming back. I didn't know this man. Never killed someone that didn't want me in some way. He did he was trying to kill you, man. Tried to pretend he was a walker. You saved us. Yeah, that's why I did it, but I felt wrong. Well, what was your happening though? Tell your mates. What more of a reason do you need? Stick him down when he's shooting at your mates. Come on. <sighs> okay. Come on. Let's go and see Luke. He's been pining for you. Oh, Rebecca. She lost too much blood, didn't she, when she had a baby? That's why she died. How did this happen? She turned. Just like that. Clem spotted it first. Did what she had to to protect the child. This isn't your fault, okay? She just... She just lost too much blood. It ain't nobody's fault. You saved the boy's life. You know, we could have done better by her. She was just too far gone. She's with Alvin now. Yeah, yeah she is. Yeah, she is. Don't worry, Becca. We'll take care of your boy. Don't worry, oh, Rebecca. <laughs> you piece of shit! Oh, come on, oh, Kenny. Hey, hey. Leave it out. He's a fucking kid, man. Stop! Guys, get guys, off me! Come on. It's over, man. Dead. He ain't a threat to us. How can you say that? Of course he is. Get out of the way. Whoa, what are you doing? I'm doing the same thing this asshole tried to do to us. He wasn't the one shooting at us. That guy's dead. Yeah. Just because he don't Kenny. have a gun doesn't mean he wouldn't have. Oh, shut up, Pat. Oh, so leave him alone. Fuck's sake. Liver does he shout this and house. fucking moan and attack Please. people. Please, I can thank you. Bullshit. No, no. It's true. We have place. Not far. Food. See? He wants to help. Oh, don't be stupid. He's just trying to save his skin. Why the hell would you help us, huh? I... I now want to see more people dead. Then close your eyes and I'll make it cool. Oh, shut up, Kenny! Back for fuck's off. sake! If he's telling the truth, it could save all of us. And if it's a trap, we'll all be dead. I... I think we can trust him. He wants to live as much as we do. It's worth the risk to check this place out. Trust him, don't trust him. It doesn't matter. We should go anyway. We just need to be careful. It can't be far from here. You stay out of this. Oh, You're the reason these shut up, Kenny. Look, the shouting at someone else don't now and blaming her. Lay off, Kenny. She just helped us. Look, don't start, all right? It doesn't matter why it happened. Exactly. We have to move on. do not matter who's faulty. Fault, 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 fault. We can't. He's always know, looking for something to blame for every we fucking thing. We last much longer without more food. We gotta take a chance. Unless someone's got a better plan. You said this, you did that, no, but you did this, no, but you did that, but you did this, but you didn't do that, but you didn't do this. Tie this shit bird up. Oh, me. Yeah, I got some. He's getting Bone more and more annoying as Just it goes give on. Me a reason. Yeah, man, he gets it. Get that he's fucking depressed and that because of people he's lost, but like I was saying yesterday, 
they've all lost people, he isn't the only person that's lost someone close to him. And taking it out on every cunt else, don't help anyone. Look, just gets everyone's back. I know back you're up. probably pissed about me leaving. When I heard the gunshots, I, I knew it was a mistake. If it helps, the thing I'd normally do is walk away from good. But I get it. Despite what my instincts are telling me, despite everything I've seen, everything I've been through. So you want a cookie? You want a cookie for doing the right thing? Oh shit! Yeah, I didn't mean to. <laughs> what I'm saying is, I'm here to try to make this work. If I get a cookie for that, then awesome. <laughs> I didn't All mean I did to say that. Promise you I won't abandon you again. I just Which, I didn't to be fair, I've never done before. Even though I probably should have. I didn't see now. the options at the bottom and then the time I thought it was too late. Through. He ain't going anywhere, Kenny. No need to get your arms. I know. I'm worried about Kenny. He's he's in a dark place. We gotta keep an eye on him. Everything he's been through. He's lost. Yeah, I've noticed that too. You're the only one that he trusts. That he really trusts. That means you're the one that's gonna have to pull him back. He's counting on you. If we're really going to make this work, we're all counting on you. I'll do my best. I know. Come on, slow pokes! Shut up, Bonnie. Go get your piss flaps in the fucking knot. We're only fucking stood having a chat. Shut up, Kenny, for fuck's sake! Look at him! Listen, you understand? He's a fucking kid! Come on! There's no need for that! He's getting what he deserves. You're gonna get what you deserve, Mucker, if you carry on like that. One of them's gonna fucking spark you. I'm fucking talking to you! I say stop! You'd best stop! That's enough! Leave him alone! Just fucking stay put. Always gotta have someone to bully. We're like I'm that with Ben, won't he? He doesn't have to treat it's been through enough. And so Ben fucking right stood here. back up to him. Yeah, yeah. Go on and talk to him. I've known people like that in my life. Okay. They're like here, bullying people. I always got to have someone to bully to make them for sales feel uh, hard. Okay. Until that person stands up and then their ass falls out. What is it with you guys? What do you mean? Every man I've known is always trying to let each other know how tough they are. Put them in their place. <laughs> it all ends the same way. But don't look at me. I ain't that guy. That ain't true. You get in your fair share of pissing matches too. Do I? Are you kidding me? Yes. I guess I should work on that. They're just scared. That's when it happens. When they don't know what to do. <sighs> yeah, that makes sense to me. Guess it took a woman to talk some sense into him. Looks like Jane broke it up. Sound seems to a better right? today. I'm gonna go fetch some bandages. Like the the wind noise and the music and that don't hey, seem to be overpowering the speed. Yeah. Like it was. I'm sorry. For what? I'll be right back. Which is a good thing because we it, yesterday when we played this we couldn't hear what they were saying. Yeah. So I suppose that's an improvement. Feeling. If I'm being honest, I've been better. Stick your fingers in bullet or stick bullets in there, Clem. <laughs> oh, what's this thing? Broddy, broad, broad. How did we get here? We walked. 
Well, he ain't got no choice with Clem. You know him better than I do. Maybe he'll let you do it. Okay. Bye, to go. Kenny. That's gonna sting. Eyeball. For a now. It's gonna clean it. Oh, I know what it does. It's gonna suck. It's gotta get done. Well, as if we don't want to end up dying of a frigging eye socket infection. Come Whack on. some maggots you on it. They'll date all uh, dead flesh and stuff, and infected freaking flesh. Kenny, eye patch off now. I was now. thinking we'd go with Alvin Jr. What do you think? Rebecca mentioned she'd like to name him Alvin if it was a boy. I mean, I think his parents would have liked that. Yeah, me too. Alvin Jr. Just to uh, keep reminding him like that he isn't the I kid's parent as well. Comes. I think I'm all right. I mentioned it earlier. <laughs> I'm changing your bandage. Changing your bandage. <laughs> Simple like as. I don't have much choice. Nope, that. you don't. You don't. <laughs> you shouldn't have to do stuff like this. You shouldn't have to do a lot of things. All right. Let's get it over with. Hopefully, it doesn't scare this little guy. Oh, this has got more balls than all of them put together. This clam learned so much at such a young age. Look at that lovely eyeball! Yeah, it's just a scratch. Oh, yeah, you still look like Grizzly Adams and you can still model for him. That'll sting like a motherfucker, that. He did a number of his friggin' eye sockets though, didn't he? So, this is gonna hurt like hell. You could have lied a little. <laughs> Why? You ready for this? Holy fucking hell. Told you. You need to stop squirming. Fucking hell, Clem put it, poured it on her arm, didn't she, when she had to stitch her arm up? I'm sure, she, I'm sure he can handle it, if she can. <sighs> Sorry about the language, Joe. You're tougher than me in your room. I don't expect you to be more of a gentleman than I am. Man, is that smart. Maybe he won't need to be that tough by then. He'll grow up fast enough in all this. Not you. 
Well, that's something that they're all going to have to live with now, isn't it? They're all going to feel guilty about something, aren't they? And then you're surrounded by death, day in, day out. People that you know dying all the time and all that sort of shit. Kenny don't smell like an old tampon anymore. Let's head out. We need to get some oil hey, for that I'm frigging leg. Oh, shut up, Kenny! What? For fuck's sake! He can hear it, you! What? what do you mean, what? The place you're fucking taking us! Arvo, we're not trying to be mean to you. We just want to know if this is where the supplies are. Is this the place you're taking us? Are the supplies here? No, it's at the house. There's still more work. Some more hours. God damn it! I knew this was gonna happen! Oh, Kenny, shut the us. fuck up! Thank you. Don't mention it. It's getting dark. Maybe we should stop for the night. This is bullshit. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. He's lying. He's been lying this whole time. Stop fighting! Can we just try and have a calm, quiet night? Where everyone isn't at each other's throats? Yeah. Please. That Can sounds nice. Yeah. Can everyone just yeah, listen does. to the kid as per usual? Sorry about that. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. The only if one we're that staying, we should scout this place sense. out. All right. Y'all wait here. I'll go make sure this ain't some walker nest we're locking ourselves into. I'll go with you. Uh, see if uh, see if you can calm him down a bit. Well, it will help when you're not shouting your fucking mouth off every two nope. seconds. That's all you. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't have guessed that it worked. Me neither. I think he likes you. Palmed right down for you. He's cute. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Most babies are pretty ugly this soon after being born. That's true. They usually look like weird little aliens. <laughs> No, afterbirth looks like a weird fucking alien. I friggin' shat myself when I first saw that because I didn't know that, over. that, that existed. And um, when they pulled it out, big friggin' purple thing, all veiny and that. I didn't know what to think. I thought they'd just pulled the liver out or something. And shat myself. And then to think some people eat that. Ugh! <laughs> no, thank you. Oh. Today's my birthday. Near as I can tell, at least. Happy birthday, Luke. Yeah, man. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to ya. So Happy that makes birthday you to what? Ya. 94. That's that's right. I'm surprised you remember. Sure as hell feel a lot older. Don't even start with that shit. Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million years. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork, waiting to collect. <laughs> Probably. I'd have liked to go to college. I really liked school. Just a waste of money. Well, the major in art and history hasn't helped too much the last few years. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like he majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. Oh, stop it. He get a minor in agriculture. Keep the old man happy. Oh, I almost forgot. We're saving it for a special occasion. Well, it being your birthday and all. Figure. This is as good a time as Ooh. any. Where did you get it? Bill kept all the alcohol in the armory. He didn't like people imbibing. What's that mean? Drinking. He, he didn't think people should drink. I feel a little guilty taking the first Whoa, uh, wait! You gotta make a toast. 
I'm not really the, uh... Come on, birthday boy. <laughs> it don't have to be fancy. A toast means we all got something to drink. Oh, we can just pass the bottle around afterwards. Go on. Yeah, <laughs> chill out, mate. You're gonna get a drink. <clears throat> <clears throat> to the loved ones that we've lost along the way. And to the hope that we see them again. Someday. Here, here. Here, here. That was real nice. Yeah? I didn't mean for it to rhyme. That was... Well, <laughs> I got first watch. I think the fence has got us pretty secure. Can't be too careful. The baby might be cold. Come on, Kenny. Just sit a little while longer. Nah, you stay warm. Clem, let him go. I'm gonna post up over near the hole in the fence there. Holler if you need anything. Thanks, Kenny. Fire's real nice. Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. <laughs> I didn't expect her to come back. Just when I thought I got her figured out, she up and surprises. It's a good thing. You saved our ass. I know. I know. I just don't know what she's getting out of this. We're lucky to have her. I'm glad she's here. Well, she helped us back then. So that puts her as okay in my book. Well, it ain't no secret how you feel about <laughs> Yellow. Oh, come on. Bum <laughs> it was stupid. I understand. She's a pretty girl. Once you get past all the dirt and guts. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I just wanted to forget about all this shit for like ten minutes. Ten minutes? So I stuck uh, with me, oh, saw up a fart pipe. Hey. <laughs> Alright. All right. It wasn't ten minutes. Come on. Got a little one around. Sorry. Forget I said anything. I know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> I certainly hope not. We're talking about kissing stuff. Kissing stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. That. That is exactly it. Was there any kissing? You shut your mouth right now. Or maybe she came back for you. Could be. I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> I'd come back for you. Ooh, Clem's got a crush on Luke. You know what I mean. <laughs> Thank you, Clem. I do the same. Luke's a regular Casanova. Hey, <laughs> shut up. Don't be modest. Your moves are working on all the ladies. Worked on me. Oh. <laughs> Good money. Oh, Fuck you now. I just did it too, didn't I? They all want a bit of oak. Sorry. It's the drink talking. <laughs> they say a drunk man's talk is a sober man's thought. Well, I ain't a man, so they can take that shit somewhere else. <laughs> Let's get rest of them in to group so they Clint, can have a night together. Go see if you can get Jane and Kenny over by the fire. Yep. It's too cold for them to be out there like that. Oh, and here. Maybe a swig of this and change the Not if Clem it first before she gets to him. Let's go and talk to her. Let's have a look at that. At least we don't need to worry about being electrocuted. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't want to be sat there that if it were frigging on. Wow. That would uh, make your hair spiky. Oh, carbo. Want a drink? I've lost people too. We all have. Leave me alone, please. Leave me alone, please. All I phone Putin. He sent bomb, big bomb, kaboom, and blow you all up. You don't leave me alone. expect you to lure me over there with alcohol? I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. It's probably been a while for everyone. We just want you to feel welcome. It's warm over by the fire. What is it? Rum. It's rum? <laughs> Ooh. 
Give it here. Ten minutes later, she's swinging her bra around and fucking running around in her knickers. I don't know. It, it might be awkward. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to. Well, I wasn't asking you to bomb yeah. him in front of everyone. Just go and sit be down. Around. It doesn't have to be. We're all adults here, are we now? <laughs> you know what I mean. Mature or whatever. <laughs> I wish it was that easy. It is. People just love making it harder than it has to be. So I mean, cleanse anyone that's fake sense. feel like I'm signing a contract or something? That's really good. <laughs> Have you had any? Want to sit? It's okay. Um, sure. <laughs> okay. It's not as bad as the moonshine stuff I had with Nick. Yeah, Whoa. moonshine is yeah. fucking like acid. That stuff was like fire. Yeah. Uh oh, busted. I better take that back. I wasn't too much older than you when I had my first drink. God, I was so stupid back then. There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? Oh, it was dumb. Something called Earthquake or something. Sounds like you were a bad kid. I guess I was. At the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals. And I got it in my head that I really wanted to eat a couple. So I got the bright idea to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get at them. And it shattered into a thousand pieces all over the dining room. And I had proceeded to eat what I thought was sugar candy. <laughs> it was not sugar candy. <laughs> <laughs> the problem with glass is it looks a lot like sugar crystals. That's never really been a problem for me. <laughs> Keep it that way. My sister found me, drunk, blood pouring out. Jamie thought I was dying, so she called 911. You ate glass? I ate glass. <laughs> I haven't thought about that in a long time. Well, here it goes. <laughs> I guess a deal's a deal. <laughs> here. That guy needs a drink more than any of us. Go on, go on, join Drew. Time to not make it weird. <laughs> Time to not make it weird. Hey there! Thought I'd bring my sexy ass over Wanna here. Wanna sit here? No. That's, <laughs> I'm fine. Oh, yeah, okay. Wherever you like. <laughs> and what does she do, first thing? Make it awkward. <laughs> Right, Kenny, get your patchy ass up and get yourself out and sat with the rest of them. I miss TV. Feels like forever since we had electricity. Mm, you're not missing out. Probably one of the better things to come of it. <laughs> Just the hair everywhere. I'm sorry for, for how I acted back there after Serena was. I just. I, I couldn't handle it. I'm 
sorry. You did what you could. You tried to help, and I blamed you for it. I'm so, so sorry. You don't have anything to apologize for. I know you didn't mean it. Thanks. I miss my boy. I miss him so much. I didn't raise him like I should have. Made mistakes. Wasn't there a lot for a couple years. Off on a boat somewhere or other. I thought I enjoyed that time away from him. From my family. Not give me anything. Come on, Kenneth. Kenneth Kniff. Nobody else has to walk it over here. Yeah, what's this? Seems secure enough. For one night, anyways. So you wake up with a flicking zombie hanging out your ass. Scar on his face and uh, half his ear missing. Might have had a run in with Mike Tyson. We got someone else that might need some help. Sounds like a waste of good run. Oh, shut up, Kenny. You have to spoil it, don't Who's you? Fault was that? that makes it even harder to deal with. Trust me. He needs it as much as anyone right now. It's a nice thing to do. I said. No fucking need for it, man. I don't think that boy's a bad person. No, he's not. I just think good people do bad things sometimes. We do all do what they we need to survive. So I think it's best. Leave to me alone! Sorry, okay. My fault. I shouldn't have. Leave me alone! <laughs> Go on now, bro. <laughs> Mood soon changed, didn't it? There you know. I'll take first watch. Thank you, Kenny. Really? I am. Don't mention it. You did good. It was nice while it lasted. I can imagine that that's what it would be like in real life, you know. Everyone would be on edge, everybody's heads would be completely fucked. Um, I mean, even today, how it is, people's heads are fucked. So you can't imagine in that situation. And trying to hold everybody together like that, all them different personalities and different stages of head fuck. It'd just be impossible, wouldn't it? 
And while you sure you're good? And yeah. while they're all yeah, feeding, good. close if people I die. Start to crap out. I'll just get worse know. and worse. Okay, will you do that? It's no trouble. How much further? Close. Very close. You've been saying that every oh, time Penny, I ask. Sure. Oh, please. Come. I'm really starting to think you're <gasps> full of shit. Kenny, look out! What the fuck? Ah, 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 Kenny! Ah! In a bit, Jesus. zombie breath. Boom! That was close. Fucker came out of nowhere. Yep. That was real loud. Hopefully there aren't more of them. Super clean yeah, save well, you let's though. move. We don't want to be around to find out. He's very close. He's Come. very close. Come. He's very close this way. Come. He's over there. Much vodka. There. That piece of shit? It's half built. We're here for the supplies. Exactly, the yeah. House. It's warm. Fireplace. Very warm. As long as there's food, who cares what it looks like? You're not gonna think that when you wake up with a couple of inches of snow covering you. Well, you can always put some over the top if that's the Are issue. Are just gonna walk over? This was where I fucked up last night, uh, and a couple of characters Maybe died. Maybe there's a way around. I don't I know don't if you can any. save them, or whether they have to What's die. Say it in American asshole. It's okay. So we'll find out now, Look. though. Ice. No shit ice. That's the problem. He's saying it's fine. I go first. I can be front. Duh. Maybe we shouldn't come together. We just can't have too much weight. She's right. We need to spread out. Just to be safe. Yep. Less weight, the better. Let the Rusky go first, since he's so confident. It's okay. He's okay. Can't go too close to him. We need to keep a good distance. I would have personally gone round though, I wouldn't have gone over ice like that. Because you get hypothermia if you go in there. We're okay. Don't worry. Well, could have told him not to walk over that frigging crack. So here we go, lot. We got some walkers behind us. It's only two of them. Should be alright. Let's just get to the house. Let's go, cool, hey, let's go. Cool. Stay with us. Fuck. Too less to deal with. Just stay spread out and we'll be fine. Hey! Oh, he's up low. Motherfucker! He's up low. He's gonna kill him! Kenny! Get back here, you piece of shit! Oh! No! Kenny! Don't hurt him! Come on, then. They made it. Let's go. Oh shit, Luke. This is where we lost Luke last night. I'm gonna do opposite what Don't I did last night. Here. Yeah, I can make it. It's, it's fine. You sure? Yeah. You got walkers on the way. Let me help you. It's too thin for both of us. I just, I just gotta be careful. Oh, oh no! Oh. Stop! 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 I'm fine! I'm fine! No, you're not! I just gotta pull myself out! The walkers are almost here! Hurry! Yeah, no! You ain't helping! You need to help! No! Clem, go! Go help him! No, Clem, do not! Clem, just go back for him! You're lying! You, you Stop do telling her that! Stop Clem, telling her that! Look at me! Pull out your gun and shoot those damn walkers, okay? Just give me a little time! Clem, uh. you can make it, but you need to go! Come on! Clementine, stop! Clementine! Just go back! 
Eyeball, Paul. Oh, sorry, does Luke have to die no matter what? Then it looks like it, doesn't it? But at least Bonnie's still alive. We lost Bonnie, so one of them had to die at least, anyway, then, didn't they? Either way, Luke was gonna die, but this way, Bonnie survived. Fuck! It's okay, I got you. I got you. Bonnie died Wait, last night. Come on, you're gonna be okay. Go to the house. We need a fire. So at least we split up one person anyway. <laughs> fucking freeze to Compared death. to yesterday. Well, every life we can save is it uh How the bonus. Fuck did that happen? There's a fireplace! Jesus Christ! We have to get her warm! She's gonna freeze to death! Oh, so like Kenny, don't help. Oh, patchy eye, just fucking stand there looking at her. This is gone. Looks fucking gone. We should have gone around. God damn it. We should have just fucking gone around. I tried to help him. I just. What's that I started? At least Bonnie's alive. Oh, Kenny, shut up! Fun. Again with Kenny, Paul! No, man! Don't so what? It wasn't Burbo's fault. Luke was shot. And who got it shot? Look at this place. Just a stack of fucking toothpicks. Bet those magical supplies are bullshit too. What? No speaking of English? Kenny, will you pack it the fucking? Fuck you. You fucking commie piece. Came in a kid. You Kenny, stop it. Just stop. I think even he knows he's losing it. Look on his face then. Look at him, evil bastard! What, beating up fucking innocent fucking kids? She never had what a taste you for that, that, you fucking dick. There's another just like it. Yeah. He wasn't lying. Supplies. Like he said, dickhead. You want to tell me how a can of fucking chili... Oh how my is it a kid god. How is going to help anyone? This is your fault, and you damn well know. Fine. Mike, help me get a fire started. You okay? He's hurt real bad. Mike! Yeah. Yeah, okay. You got a light? I thought I had matches. Do you know what I mean now? Kenny just riles everybody up and fucks it up every situation with his fucking anger. He needs to sort it out, man. He's a liability now. Killed you. The fuck is wrong with him? You're up. Kenny. 
And he's out back, trying to get some stupid truck started. Well, it won't be a stupid truck if it gets it working, will it? Here, you should eat something. Tread it well, it's due, love. Or would you rather okay. walk in pleasing fucking cold? Thank you. I can't believe he's gone. I've lost people before, but it just hasn't felt this this shitty in a while. He cared about you too, Jane. I know he did. You did. <laughs> I'm gonna find Jane. something to clean that up. She's glad Thank you, you did, Jane. Thank you. Oh, Jane. I can't take this shit anymore. Oh, yeah, I've just Feeling remembered better? what they did. Yeah. Fucking slings. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth the crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. With a little luck, we can get one fixed up. Be out of here by nightfall. Yeah, sure, Kenny. That's the spirit, darling. I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch him. Clem. <laughs> Just be careful. She's off with a beautiful jacket. <laughs> Multicolored rainbow jacket. My coat is like a shield of steel. What did she have to say? That you're an obed and she I know died. she was running her mouth. What did she say? You shouldn't have done that to Arvo. I know. I know, Clem, but, but Luke... I don't care. You can't do that. Jesus, Clem, you know me. You know I'm not like that. But you are you like that, me. Kenny. You just you did it. All of us, Kenny. How can you not be like that it when you just did it? Again. That's a promise. You're losing your shit, mate. You're going too <sighs> fucking far. What happened? It's over. But AJ needs us now. We gotta stick together on this thing. All right. Come on. Let's see if the truck's gonna go. My daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up. He was a mean son of a bitch, but he taught me respect. A girl like Jane would learn a thing or two about that. We're all just tired. Hell, I've been tired for two years. All right, give it a turn. Nada. We're so close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running. And then we can get out on the road, really make some distance. Wellington's got to be out there. Now those rumors can't all be bunk. We should go back south. Across those mountains again? We'll run out of gas and die picking our way down. There's nothing back there for us. All right, turn it again. Turn it? Yes. God damn it! <sighs> we'll get it working. We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. I'm gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. 
kind of like leaving it with that girl. I love the uh, the art style of these games. Um, most of the uh, Telltale games have this dark, comic-like aesthetic. It's really, really good. I mean, obviously, it's not top graphics like, say, Cyberpunk or all like that, but it's Wish not supposed to be. This place. It's supposed to be made in like a, a like I say, like a comic book style, and it's good. There's Bonnie, look. She went there yesterday, so we killed her, didn't we? Looks like it's about to collapse. I wonder what part she plays when they all start frigging fracturing and going their own way. Be interesting to see. Looks broken. Busted. Busted. It's fucking busted, mate. Hey there, Bonnie. Is that a joint? Want one? No, thanks. <laughs> Do you remember when you saw me first? Back at the lodge? Check her for weapons. <laughs> I liked you from the start. <laughs> You ever done something you regret? Even if it's something you knew you had to do? Uh, Go on. All the time. Yeah. You know, I'll say one thing about Luke. No matter where you end up, there's always one bad seed rocking the boat. But I don't think he would have ever been that guy. Let me ask you something, Clem. When's the last time anyone did what you wanted? Uh... I think people respect me. Really? I think so. Well, good for you, honey. Do, you know, I've been all over. Run with a lot of people. A lot of men. And listen to a lot of promises. Ain't one of them come true. I'm starting to think there might be another way, you know? Mm, we know what side she's on then, don't we? I'm going to go take a piss. I think she's trying to say that she's not coming on board with Kenny. Um, and that's what that uh, Mike ended up doing, didn't he? But I'm still not going to let him take it. No chance. Not if they take it off. Not if they try taking it all like they did last night and leaving us with fucking nothing. No chance. Why would anyone agree to that? Hey. Mike and Orvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. <laughs> Kenny's knocking truck now. Son of a dick. I can't believe what he did to Arvo. Next time he's gonna kill him. Do you really want to be around for that? I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy too. Once. Probably had a nice job and a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. Kenny isn't Carver. He just made a mistake. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, we're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. It's worth as much as your loyalty. I think it needs food or something. 
You don't just abandon people because they're suffering. If it starts becoming a proper danger, then then you have to fucking look at mm. the Sounds options. Like you've done that before. You wanna try? No way. It's gonna puke. Clem, no. Blech. <laughs> Hold it like this. Hey. Hi. My name's Jane. I think it's gonna puke. It's not gonna puke. <laughs> it pukes. It pukes. <laughs> it puked what? I said that yesterday when I saw it. In puking black, it's supposed to be white. But the feed in it, freaking licorice. Left. I was running with some people a long time ago down near DC. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car, hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. So he made it. Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turn and ripped the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was she was just staring up at the sky, like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. See, all that were different. It's mad how it works. There were different choices you, you make, and the style is different. All what she said then were different. So, what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? We should look for more people. We need help. Yeah, this is crazy. There's nobody up here but us. We should head back south. What? We're kind of freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place. So that. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? What the fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry. We did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? Kenny, it's freezing up here, man. It's only gonna get worse. Jane's right. We should head south. We're going to freeze to death up here. And it's the best thing for the baby. I vote we go back to Mike? Sure. Whatever. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. What about Arbo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. We should ask him what he wants. There's a concept. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh yeah, some help he's been. He got Luke killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation. But maybe if you eased up on him before, you wouldn't have run away in the first place. Think about that, Kenny. Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. I might actually let him take the you car. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't then I won't. Then Clem won't get shot, will she? For one day? Jesus Jesus she got shot last night. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. God damn it! God damn it! Okay, shut up, Kenny! Why? Because we are all doing what Kenny wants to do. Fuck me! Get a fucking grip. It's like a fucking sulking child. They're not doing what I want to do. You I fix the truck. It's my way. For his sake. I am going to let him take the truck this time. I want to see what happens. Damn it! Okay. Stupid fucking. Get the fuck out of here! It's me! Clem. Sorry, just give me a second. Close the door. What was 
that back there. I expected more out of you, Clem. I don't give a fuck what you expect, you know, I only want what's best for that child. How could you embarrass me like that? You're scaring me. Scared? What's there to be scared about? Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. We owe it to them to see this done. This is different. How? Where are we gonna find baby formula? I don't know, but sitting around here ain't a way. Oh my god. <sighs> Can't just go on a whim? I wish Lee was here. What'd you think he'd say? I think he'd tell me that he doesn't have all the answers. And that we should keep moving. I think you're right. We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew. And what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now. Grown up. I felt pride. A pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. It's the only chance that child has. Damn it, Kenny. Look around. There's nothing out here. Wellington doesn't exist. It's just a... it's just a story. You don't know how much it hurts to hear you say that. Oh, get a grip, Kenny. Tomorrow, Fucking hell. You You're acting you like are. that Wellington's yours and you built it or something? Fucking hell, man. Get a grip. You don't know how much it hurts for me to hear you say that. What? That she don't believe fucking Wellington exists? How would that hurt you? You fucking freak. Here we go. This is where Claim got shot yesterday. I'm gonna let him go this time. What are you 
can't believe he shot him anyway. They shot him, you little bastard. I should have shot him. So she had to Clint, get shot, basically. What the fuck did you do? Clem, what did you do? Clem, Clem. So I thought I'd try a different angle there, see if I could stop her getting shot. But that little fucking rusky bastard fucking Clem. shot her anyway. Clementine. I should have let Kenny beat him up. I thought the reason why he shot her yesterday was because I threatened him with gun. Guess I was wrong. It's just a bad Just a little tricky, happy bastard, anyway. And that was Clem that stood up for him all the way through. Him little knobhead. You don't know how this works yet. Maybe it's like a cold. I don't think he's bothered about that now. Got really close to Lee, didn't she? Well, let's try to get some sleep. Probably the last time we'll ever see Lee now, I think. I can't, I can't remember if we On ever see again, but I doubt we will. Slow down! Shut up! Shit! 
she's awake. Hey, you. Clem! Oh, thank God! You passed out from the shock. Am I gonna be okay? You should be. How do you feel? It hurts. Couldn't find the bullet. Must have gone clean through. It'll burn a while, but... I expected it from the Russian, but Mike? I could tell they were working on something. I didn't think they'd go that far. Yeah, well, who would steal our food and shoot a kid? We never should have thrown him in trash like that in the first place. Is Bonnie okay? They took off on foot. Didn't get this puppy thanks to you. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to house. Carver's camp? What the fuck kind of plan is that? We should go back to house. Now, Clem? It's our best chance. I get it, just ganging up on Kenny now. Good. Kenny, come on. No, I see how this is gonna go. She's filling your head with bullshit. Oh, she can think for herself, sake, Kenny. Kenny. So let her, Jane. Just cause Look, she's not going with Kenny's fucking way. Here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to house in a day. Tell you what. We can turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from a cold, dead face. For fuck's sake. Yeah. Whatever. He, how why does he get to decide rest of us fits? Get your feet off the dash. Let's play a game, Clem. I spy, with my little eye, an asshole. Your turn. Grow up. Go to hell. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go ahead. You wanna die out here? You're both being children. Me? I couldn't see the damn road. Bet you're having trouble seeing a lot of things these days. You shut your fucking mouth. I am done with playing games with you, Jim. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. Nothing. Nobody cares about you. And you don't care about nobody but yourself. That makes you nothing. What is it with you? It's your family, right? Don't. It is, isn't it? I'm warning you, you little shit. You're just another type A asshole trying to save a bunch of dead people. Shut up, both of you. Stay out of this, Clem. Don't tell her what to do. <laughs> you listen to me. You mouth off about my family, and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I am so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. In the end, still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita died, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? I was there. I couldn't. God damn you, I love that woman! This is crazy! Ha! Huh, someone here is crazy, but it ain't me. You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't true! Mike? Bonnie? Sarita? Fucking liar, that ain't true! Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're gonna end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine. I told you not to talk about my family! Fuck you! Fucking piece of shit! Go to hell, you son of a bitch! Jesus! Nice fight. You fucking you okay? kids. I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem, you alright? Yeah. Kenny, I'm... Wait, hold on. Go around. One of them might have diesel. We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. Got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll try to meet you there. All right? If you're going, go now. Kenny! I can't do this anymore. I'm serious, Clem. I tried, but I just can't. You're both losing it. Clem, everyone's like that around him. You know that. Clem, we could leave. Right now. Are you serious? What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. Don't you ever want to know what it's like yeah, to Yeah, if I do that, life? then we won't have to kill him. But I don't think it gives me a chance. It's snowing. Why are they moving? They must not be cold enough yet. Fuck! Get us out of here! I don't know how to drive! See that 
pedal on the floor? Step on it! Don't just sit there! Jesus! Oh, I didn't see that! What am I supposed to- Get out! Hurry! Jane! Jane, wait! Oh, for fuck's sake, will you piss off? Yeah. Fucking grabby grab. Jane! This is where we have to choose. I liked the ending of yesterday's though where uh, Clem and Jane went back to uh, settlement so I think I'm going to go for that ending again because Kenny is losing it so I aren't going to stick with Kenny and end up in fucking getting worse and worse he is becoming a liability Oh, Kenny, shut up! Fucking first thing you say, you shouting and screaming! Fucking idiot. Jane! Yeah, I've definitely made up my mind. We're going with Jane. Fucking lost it, man. He doesn't listen to anybody. Just Wait. does it all his way. Oh, thank Christ! Jane, you okay? Where's the kid? Jane, where is he? Again. 
fuck that. Throwing a little girl about, it's gone too far now. Fucking. Come on, Clem. Well, she tried reasoning with you, she tried breaking you up. A pair of fucking adults didn't want to listen as per usual. So that's it, one of you's getting a fucking bullet in head. Enough's enough, Kenny. You fucking lost it completely, Mush. That's it. Done. You throw Ken uh, Clem about like she's a fucking rag doll. You've gone too far, Mucker. You've lost fucking plot. But you, you stupid cow, has caused all that for nothing. Yeah. Your little fucking trick got someone yeah, killed. I think so. Satisfied. Stupid bitch. You're happy now, Jane. You little fucking clam. Got him killed. By rights, I should have fucked you up as well. But it's only because I didn't want to leave Clem on her own with baby that I didn't. But realistically, I should have fucked her and told her to fuck off. Because it is an option. But she caused that then. I mean, yeah, Kenny was losing it. But he wouldn't have gone to that extent if she hadn't pretended baby were dead. That baby was Kenny's last fucking string to okay? sanity. It's alive. I understand if you're upset. Oh, Ace was never in any danger. I was just going to try to talk you into coming with me. 
Yeah. I just thought if you saw Kenny like that, you'd know we'd have to leave him. Look, Clem, I'm sorry. I didn't think Kenny would go that far. I'm sad. You're fucking crazy. How could you do this? I had to do it, Clem. You saw how he reacted. I had to show you what he was capable of. So you put AJ in danger and got my friend killed just to prove a point? It's a stupid plan. I should never have liked you. I thought it was the only way to see you. Oh my god. Kenny, you have to forgive me. Please. Just leave all this behind us. Please. I did it for you, Kenny. For us. We're free now. I forgive you, Jane. He wasn't right at all. Just, he was losing it, it, but he had reason, really. And she pushed him over edge with the last thing that were keeping him on, keeping him alive, basically, something to fight for with the baby. So she caused him to lose the plot then. But again, like I said, I didn't want to leave Clem on her own with baby. She's better having someone, especially her, because she knows what she's doing. But still, I don't agree with what she did. Not at all. Nine days later. Can't see much from here. Come well, on. We're back at the camp where um, Carver was killed. There he is, look. Oh, fucking spunk face. Well, hello there, eyeball. How are you doing? I don't know how you were able to watch that. Quite fucking easily. I'm glad I did. So am I. Here's the food. Clem, this formula. Bonnie was right. Oh yeah, Bonnie. Bonnie was right. Old Bonnie. The greenhouse is in good shape. You know, maybe we should stay here a while. See how it goes. Just, just stay behind me. What's that? What's that? Who is it? Clem. Who is it? Oh, look. Come on. New lambs to the slaughter. They don't look armed. This your place? Well, hello there, ginger pubes. Yeah, it is. Really? Yep. Yeah? Why? We need help. My boy, he... He ain't doing so good. What's wrong with him? Look, uh, don't worry. He ain't, uh, he ain't bit. bit. Just hungry. We've been walking for weeks. Ran out of food a couple days back. That's your kid? Yep. Where you girls been? All over the place. Why do you care? Whoa, uh, I, I didn't mean nothing by it. Everywhere. All over. You, uh, been up north? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, us too. <laughs> Keep your eye on him. This place needs a lot of work. Yeah? Yeah, we could help you. There's not that much food left. Please. But we need help. We won't make it another Jane. night out here. And we're not just going to turn people away when they need us help. Sorry, Look, love. But we are I know Carver. you don't know us. And I know a lot of people out here say a lot of things. But I'm asking you. As a father, please don't turn us away. Why did he pull his underwear when she grabbed him then? It could be anybody. Do we really want to go through this again? Please, come in. Thank you. If we're going Around for his the gun then, see him. You sure about this? This place is a mess. Um, and I don't know how long that food will last. Maybe we can start something here, Jane. It's not much. But we'll make it better. 
<laughs> Let's make his own camp. And then we can turn into Carver. And start ordering people fine. about and locking people in prisons and all that shit. No, we'll make a good camp where everyone is equal and everyone pulls away and we all look after each other. You know, like a camp should be. But I'm sure she sees he's got a My gun name's here. Patricia. Oh Jane. hey there, Pat. Thank you, Jane. Don't mention it. Oh. Thank you so much. I wonder if he's got them hostages somewhere. Because did you see when she tried to grab him, he pulled his arm away? Look. Get ready, Jane. Take that gun off of him. Got a no gun policy in here. Cool hat. Cool hat. <laughs> thanks. Yeah, thanks. I wonder how it turns out though. Is he a baddie or what? I mean, obviously he's going to have a gun. Especially if he's got a family to look after, you know what I mean? But for one, that kid's black. So it's clearly not his. Um she tried to grab his arm and he pulled his arm away for some reason and he was going for his gun until i said we could look at coming so i'm guessing if we'd have said go away he might have pulled the gun on us so i don't know right selflessness protect the baby you and 58 percent of players protected the baby yep obviously surprised that morning to be quite honest so like what 41.4 percent of players didn't Okay. Went to help Luke. You and 33.3% of players tried to help Luke. Mm, yep. What, so... 62... Uh, sorry, 66.7% didn't. Didn't help him. Okay. Asked to leave with Mike. You and 80.9% of players didn't ask to leave with Mike. No, of course. I didn't want to go with them and leave the baby and Kenny and Jane. Because like I said, it wouldn't have been so bad if they weren't taking all our supplies. But they were taking everything for themselves and leaving us with nothing. What the fuck? That's not just punishing Kenny. That's punishing Jane. That's punishing baby. That's punishing Clementine. That was just selfish. That made them as bad as Kenny. Worse, anyway. So no, I wasn't going to ask to leave with them. I'm fucking gutted now that I didn't shoot them. Because I thought that would have stopped her getting shot, but it didn't. Um, You and 50.9% of players shot Kenny. Well, yeah, because he was losing it by the end of it, wasn't he? He was getting dangerous, so... um, Yeah, that had to be done. In the end, who were you with? You and 21.4% of players are with Jane and the family. I wonder what other options then is who you could have ended up with at end there. You could have ended up with N, uh, probably Kenny. Or Kenny and the family. Or Jane. Or Jane and the family, I suppose. I mean, that's the only options I think you could have ended up with. So yeah, anyway, there we go. Once again, episode 5 done. Hopefully. So let's see if I have the same bollocks now when I upload it, uh, when I save it to the Facebook page. Let's see if they try the whole fucking copyrighted thing on a fucking game that clearly isn't copyrighted. And let's see if it, if they do do that, if they also grey out my option to dispute it like everybody gets when you get a copyright match. Which I'm still angry over because I've had to, just wasted another night having to play that when we could have been playing uh, the first episode of season three tonight. He pissed me off, man. So anyway, let's end it there.
la we go season two done once again so yes as i was saying i will do what i do on all the uploads that i do I've, and like i have done on the whole season one and season two without issue i will now save it to the facebook page just like i have done all the others without issue and see if we get the problem again because like i said to you earlier i am still saving over the whole mess up i really am having to play the same frigging episode twice because of their mess up which i personally think were purposeful um but whatever but anyway yes so as of tomorrow around again around eight or nine depending i will again create an event as i always do tomorrow through the day um showing what time i'll be playing it at but we will be starting season three tomorrow which is called um oh what's it called now i can't even friggin remember I can't remember, it's somewhat to do with a new beginning, you know what I mean, a new, because they're starting a new camp and stuff, but I'm going to put, the, I've got the trailer for it, uh, for season three that I'm going to put on, um, I'm going to put it on after this, after I've uploaded this, so yeah, you'll see what it's called, but because I've got, like I say, I've done a video for the new, the trailer of season three, so yeah, to anyone that's joined me live and watched it again, thank you very much, I really appreciate you joining me on this journey to so anyone who watches it at a later date as a pre-recorded video on either the face the emerging gaming facebook page or on the uh, emerging gaming youtube channel because i'm going to be uploading them there as well um again thank you very much like i said to you before it makes no odds to me whether you watch it live or whether you watch it pre-recorded watching it is supporting um and i hope you guys enjoy it as well when you're watching it but again, if you want to support us even further, which would be very, very, very much appreciated and is very needed at the moment, the ways you can do that, which are all totally free, is you can like the videos that we do on either Facebook or YouTube. You can join the Facebook page, the Emerging Gaming Facebook page. And the biggest thing you can do to help us grow is to subscribe to the, YouTube, the Emerging Gaming YouTube channel, which again, costs you nothing takes a second to do but it helps us out massively um, and it will open the doors for me to do some much better videos much more content and be able to do some like uh, competitions and stuff and give something back to my uh, followers and stuff which is my aim eventually when i'm able to do that but other than that again thank you very much for joining me i will see you hopefully tomorrow for the first episode of season three so until then take care of your sins and i will speak to you all very soon a bye, a bye. <laughs>